Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira, and in this video we're doing a future focus on display scaling and some extra features which can help with pixel art style games. This will just be a quick summary of the features Construct has to help you make sure your game can scale to different sizes of displays. Um, and let's just get started. So here I've got the Cave Bridge demo, one of Construct's example projects. And I'm going to demonstrate the default full screen mode, which is letterbox scale. This is a great default because you don't really need to do anything. It will just make sure your game scales to any size display. And when you preview the project, it looks like this. Now you'll notice that because the aspect ratio of the game does not match the aspect ratio of the available display area, then we get black bars down the sides. And this is why it's called letterbox, because it's a bit like a, a letterbox in the middle. And if I resize the window, you can see how it adapts to the available area. And it just resizes the game area to uh, fit the available size as best as it can. Now, this is a great default because you don't have to do anything, it just works. It will cover small mobile displays, uh, large desktop displays, and windows and everything in between. So it's a really good default and it's nice and easy to use. You can also customize the color of these sidebars if you want to. In the project properties, there's the background color, and you can change this to, for example, blue, and then the background with the bars here appears in blue. You can also do further customizations. I'm just going to put this back for now. Um, because Construct is all based on web technologies, you can also style the background using CSS. So if I add a style sheet, I can add a, uh, a simple style. Let's go with background and I'll just use a linear gradient. Uh, you don't have to know CSS, um, but this is just to demonstrate what you can do. So this will just make the background a gradient from blue to black. And it looks like that. So that shows how you can use CSS to change the background style when using letterbox scale. I'm just going to take that away again and return to showing other kinds of full screen modes. So if you want to make the game use the full display area available, uh, you can use one of two modes, scale inner or scale outer. Now this means your game will have to support different aspect ratios, which is a bit more complicated. I'll just show how scale inner works first. When I preview the project, scale inner works by cutting off content so it will hide content as you resize the view. Now you can see how at the moment you can see <coughs> a platform over here on the right, but if I resize the window down, it starts to cut off content. So this gives you a way to use the full display area uh, with no bars showing, but it might involve a bit of changes to your gameplay design because, for example, it might be important to the game whether or not the player can see content over to the right. But as you can see, the game in this mode is always using the full display area and there are no black bars. Another mode is scale outer. So while scale inner cuts off content, scale outer will extend the view. Now again, this can involve a bit more uh, changes to your game design. So one problem you might have, for example, is as is happening here, it's extending the view down to use the entire display area, but some content that we didn't originally intend to be inside uh, the visible area has now appeared. So this can all be dealt with with your game design. There are extra features in Construct, uh, like the anchor behavior and some system viewport expressions, which let you handle all of this, but it can take a bit more work. And that's one of the nice things about letterbox scale is no matter what kind of game you've got, it will generally just do something fairly good. Moving on, uh, there's also um, one extra useful feature is that you can request full screen in the browser object to get a true full screen view. And uh, I'm just going to switch back to letterbox scale to demonstrate this. And in this example, I've just added one extra event here. So when I press F on the keyboard, the browser object will request full screen and that will go into a, uh, a full view using the entire display monitor. So now when I preview, you can see it's got letterbox scale here and uh, black bars down the sides. And when I press F, 
uh, all the browser and um, system interface disappears and the game is now running in a true full screen experience. Um, and a nice thing about this is because even with letterbox scale, the game aspect ratio matches the display aspect ratio. There are no black bars because it fits exactly. So that's uh, something you might want to think about when designing your uh, game viewport is the aspect ratio and trying to make sure it fits common display aspect ratios as well. Now, if you have a pixel art style game, this isn't always the uh, best mode to use. And I'm just going to switch over to Kiwi Story, which is one of our built-in um, pixel art style games. So let's just switch over to here. There we go. And I'll just use the intro level here as an example. Now you can see this is all nice uh, pixel art style. And this game uses letterbox integer scale. Now this is very much like letterbox scale, but it will only use integer zoom levels, basically 100%, 200%, 300%, and so on. So because it's always an even multiple of the display size, it preserves your pixel art and makes sure everything looks nice and even at any display size. Now one downside of this is, similar to letterbox scale, you can get black bars but all four sides, uh, because if I resize the view, you can see how it's stepping the scale in uh, multiples. So this is important to preserve the quality of your pixel art. If you see the accompanying blog post, there are some zoomed in screenshots which demonstrate the effect that letterbox scale can have on pixel art, which isn't always uh, very nice, um, which is why it's good to use this mode instead. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to show that in a video, but check out that blog post and see the zoomed in screenshots and you'll see why this is a good feature to have for pixel art games. There's a couple of other settings which are useful for pixel art games. That includes the full screen quality. Low means that it will render the game at a low resolution and stretch the result up at the end. Uh, sampling nearest means that um, resized graphics will appear blocky and pixelated instead of blurry. And there's also a uh, pixel rounding, which you may or may not need, and that will just make sure everything that is drawn is drawn at uh, integer positions as well, including the scroll position. Now, there's lots more uh, ways of handling different uh, display sizes and resolutions in Construct. In this video, I've just covered the basics. Um, if you see the video description and the accompanying blog post, there's lots more uh, details you can uh, learn more about uh, there. And thanks for watching.